Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you the Pixel Experience Plus on this Redmi Note 3, which is based on Android version 10. So let's not waste much time and let's begin. Okay, so guys, first of all, I would like to make a request that uh, please do watch the video till the end because. All I do is the hard work and I make uh, the 7 to 8 minute video and I try to cover all the points uh, but I get only the watch time of the video 1 or the 1 and a half minutes so that is not fair so please it's a request from my side that please watch the whole video till the end so guys as you can see here the android version is android 10 security patch is 5th February not the March and the kernel version is that the Escrima, the Evolution X version and you can see here the Pixel Experience Plus version which is 21st April build. So going to the system then in the gestures you get all the gestures like double tap the power button the same then the swipe three finger for the screenshot and you also get the scroll screenshot option here then going to the buttons you can enable the on screen navigation bar but the hardware buttons will disable and the navigation gestures will be turned on and the gestures are working fine these are all the same features and the gestures but the hardware buttons here just gets disabled then going to the status bar customization then you can get the network monitor you can enable it from here like upload and download then you can get this system icons whatever the system icons you want on the status bar then the you can customize the clock position so, so show seconds these are all these typical status bar customizations then you can do and here are the quick settings customization the rows and the columns you can customize according to your need these are the only customizations and only the features available here the extra features uh, then you get the digital you also get the digital well-being here it is working fine the digital well-being there are no problems then going to the security options the screen lock and the fingerprint sensor is working fine as you can see here this ROM does not have the face unlock option here then uh, going to the display options uh, you get the dark theme here this is how it look then uh, you have these styles and wallpapers you get these styles and wallpaper customizations like every room then in this wallpaper you have these uh, live wallpapers for from the pixel 4 and you also and you also have these pokemon wallpaper then these are all the pixel 4 live wallpapers you can just download them and as you can see here this is the pokemon wallpaper and it's looking so good you can double tap to change the pokemon it's working fine then you have these lock screen display option there is no edge lighting available here you have this lock screen which is the ambient display you can just turn it off from turn it on from here like the pickup hand wave and pocket these are all the basic build display options then going to the battery the battery backup on this room is below average like this other rooms are having better battery backup than this and you can, you are seeing here the battery usage this are not true like PUBG played for 3 hours and 58 minutes and it drained 9% this is not true I don't know why all these rooms have the fake battery usage battery stats these were all the features talking about the other features like the Wi-Fi is working fine the torch is also working fine then these is the dark theme battery saver okay then the main one you don't have the screen recorder on this rom the inbuilt screen recorder you have these partial screenshot like uh, just press and hold the power button and uh, you can see the screenshot option just hold on that and you get this partial screenshot option and it just works fine you don't have screen recorder or call recorder inbuilt here you can just download them then talking about the camera this is the inbuilt camera which is the snapdragon one and it is working fine then uh, here you get the support for the google camera camera 2 api is on and the gcam 7.3 version is on i'll give the link for it in the description or you can just check out my dedicated video for this gcam this is working absolutely fine 
there are no problems with this camera talking about the pubg performance the pubg performance is good you can play smooth up to extreme frame rate is 60 fps if you install this gfx tool and the pubg is working fine on this rom talking about the youtube there are no problems of youtube flickering for me and this you have also the google feed option for the left swipe guys i haven't faced any black screen problem on this but i have faced reboot problem one or two times while using the gcam so that's a problem here and uh, overall this rom is good it's like the evolution x there is also a problem for the vibration on the hardware buttons like the vibration level is too low otherwise this rom is like the evolution x rom only but with the this is the lighter version there are the features are less here okay, so guys that's it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you are new to this channel then go subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and goodbye